Hello and thank you for joining us for this Alpha News Report. I'm Julia Aaron. Last week, Republican leaders introduced a $7 billion plan to upgrade Minnesota's roads and bridges. This plan included stipulations to spend a portion of the state's budget surplus, to change the trajectory of existing tax revenue, and to borrow money over the next decade. The plan is smaller than Democratic Governor Mark Dayton's nearly $11 billion proposal, mostly in part because it allocates a significant amount less for mass transit projects. As seen last week, Alpha News spoke with the ranking minority member for the Transportation and Public Safety Budget Committee, Senator John Peterson, about his views on the transportation proposal and proposed gas tax increase. Well, most people know the gas tax is an antiquated system that is no longer meeting the needs of transportation in Minnesota. In fact, as of right now, the gas tax has leveled out and is flat and is, quite frankly, is projected to continue to decline, decline. Representative Frank Hornstein, the co-DFL lead for the House Transportation Policy and Finance Committee, released a statement stating that the GOP transportation plan, quote, shifted money and looted the general fund. Alpha News sat down with the representative to address why he made this statement. Well, we uh, need to have a balanced plan that includes roads, bridges, and transit that also addresses the needs of uh, greater Minnesota as well as the metro area and uh, honestly assesses uh, the fact that we are falling short in terms of our, our long-term dedicated funding streams for transportation. Our, our needs just outweigh the revenue that we have right now. GOP leaders are standing firm on not raising the gas tax, but according to Representative Hornstein, this is a large piece of funding for the transportation plan. Well, we have um, a, a plan the, through the uh, Senate and uh, the governor that raises revenue from uh, uh, an ad additional uh, gross receipts tax on gasoline and also we have a sales tax on, uh, for, uh, dedicated to transit purposes in the metro area. Be sure to subscribe to Alpha News to stay up to date on the transportation plan and other legislative happenings as this session continues. I'm Julia Aaron with Alpha News, bringing you your news first.